Samsung is working on another killer foldable and good news for Galaxy Fan Edition fans. Let's dive in. How's it going guys, Max here. So over the past few weeks, we've actually been receiving major leaks for the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Galaxy Z Flip 3. I didn't post videos for that but those are for certain reasons. Well today, we actually have major leaks via Let's Go Digital and it shows us some patents that Samsung is working on, another foldable that has a good chance to be called the Galaxy Z Roll. In fact, we even saw a statement that Samsung's new device will be called the Galaxy Z Roll and this is almost basically confirmed. So the crazy part about it is that it has a tri-folding mechanism unlike the dual folding mechanism that we see on other foldables like the Z, Fli uh, Z Fold series and Z Flip series. And though I'm not really sure if this device is going to be coming with a dedicated S Pen slot or S Pen support but I'll let you know if I receive more information. Samsung has actually been basically the best when it comes to foldables and I don't think this would be an exception. I mean, they have to do all they can before Apple comes in in 2023 and sweeps a good amount of consumers. We all remember when the Galaxy S20 FE was released and it had two variants. Firstly, the 5G variant that had the Snapdragon 888 and the 4G variant that had the Exynos 990 that nobody really liked to be honest. And Though this was actually good and bad, good because no matter where you were, if you can actually get your hands on the 5G variant, you are getting Snapdragon. Bad because in countries that do not get the 5G variants like mine, because of the lack of 5G, don't actually get Snapdragon. But recently, Samsung has actually solved this issue. Samsung has now made it available that's the Snapdragon powered Galaxy S20 FE. 4G available in key markets like India and some other areas for around $675 and uh, this is good but why didn't Samsung just go with this in the beginning? Why did they actually have to release a phone with the Exynos chipset? Why didn't they just ditch the Exynos and go for Snapdragon because in reality those actually had the Exynos uh, devices as those actually boosted the sales of the S20 FE will actually feel cheated on now. So I don't really know why Samsung went for this decision by this time. Well, tell me what you think about everything I've said in this video down in the comment section. Subscribe for frequent tech videos and I'll see you next time. Peace, take care.